Welcome collectors, model enthusiasts, and model railroaders. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Diecast Emporium. In episode 23 of the HO Files, we're going to be taking a look at one of the buildings that I've really been putting a lot of effort and time into. This is my automobile repair facility. The base model is uh, pretty much built as it's intended to via the instructions. It's the Walther's Cornerstone Fire Department Repair Shop. As its name uh, will imply, really, this is intended to be a fire department maintenance facility that can go with the Walther Stone uh, Fire Department Training Facility and the Fire Department Headquarters. So really, you can build an armada and just an impressive display of your overall Fire Department Headquarters. But really, this building can be used for a variety of different applications, including what I'm using it for, and that's just a standard car maintenance shop. Now, really, when you're dealing with cars as opposed to large trucks, you can pack a lot more detail into it, and I really think it looks quite good, and I'm planning on doing a lot more with this in the future. So, let's get started, as we always do, with the different vehicles that really bring this scene to life. And again, I want to encourage you, this is far from a finished display. I have a lot of plans, and I'll get into some of those as we go along. So the first truck that you can see in front of your screen was originally a Bowley casting. It's now available from Walther's Scene Master. The cab has been swapped, so the stock version comes with just a red cab. Uh, the cab swap that I did was take one of these cabs right here. This is a standard one that you can get straight from the pegs and put it on. Basically, my intent was there to have uh, a small towing fleet, so depending on what the specific call required if there was a totally disabled vehicle or a totally crashed vehicle where they couldn't use a standard tow truck like this they could send a rollback flatbed to recover the vehicle um the rollback mechanism does work but this one again is pretty much a kit bash uh this rollback i had really um sitting in a parts bin and it's just fixed in position so this one specifically will not roll back but again the one that you can get off the shelf does the car on the back is from Malibu. It's a 1960s era Volkswagen Beetle. Not too much to write home about there. Pretty nice looking car. Once again, there's a good look at the truck. All right, so I kind of teased it a moment ago. Here's the International Durastar Wrecker, um, similar to like a, a Century Wrecker style setup. Lots of detail on this one, and I really do like it, especially the little cone that comes with the truck. 24-hour uh, towing, 1-800-WE-TOW. This tow bar at the back can be lowered carefully so you can hook a car up to it if you want to. Spin it around on the other side. Also some details here and a good look at the front of the truck. All right, let's take a look at some of the workers' vehicles that are parked off to the side of the building. This is a pretty new addition, one of the gifts I received for Christmas. Probably going to murder the name of this company. I'm not too familiar with them, but I believe this is a Burkina Jeep Wagoneer 1967 model. Really like the woodies and the white wall tire finish on this. Looks pretty cool. For whatever reason, these are really sought after by car collectors, and frequently you will see these around, especially around me. Um, so despite them being, you know, 50, 60 some years old now, um, you still see these on the roads today, and they're loved by Jeep enthusiasts. All right, next one I have. You hardly ever see these anymore. At one time, they were loved, especially by the police department. This is a Chevy 1995 Caprice by Bush. Just a standard white civilian version. Another uh, piece that I received for Christmas. So that's a worker's vehicle. Here's a car I've had for a long time, and uh, I did feature these in a full-length video. If you guys have not seen that, check a look at at the top of your screen right now, there will be a suggested link for all of the Woodland Scenics modern era vehicles. This is one of them. This is the Maroon Coupe. Nice looking car. And all of these even come with a little driver behind the wheel. And they're all pretty reasonably priced. So there's that one. Another brand new addition. These I'm absolutely, totally in love with. This is a Mini Champs 2018 Ford Focus RS. This one is in black. There's it's you're not going to be able to see this on camera, but if you had this in person, if you look right above where my finger is, it actually has RS on top of the spoiler. I am a huge fan, as I almost drop it. I am a huge fan of these Mini Champs HO scale cars, particularly the brand new Focus RSs and the Fiestas. They absolutely nailed these. 
And uh, I will be doing a feature-length video on every single one that was released, because I believe I have every color variation. All right, and the last of the workers' vehicles, this was something that I've been on the hunt for years. Here's an Ertl, yes, an Ertl, mid-1990s Dodge Ram. And uh, the doors open on this, and the tailgate goes down on it as well. Pretty nice truck, especially for Ertl standards. So, that rounds out the workers' vehicles. Up in front, you can see here, try and bring it back into focus, I have a couple Bush garbage cans. One's a garbage can, one's a recycling can. We have a couple customers that have decided that they want to wait on their oil change being done over here, so we got a little bench. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the top off of this, and I'm going to pick up the camera, and we'll take a look at what's inside, because that's where all the business and all the detail and all the fun stuff is going on. So bear with me just one minute. There's the top if you want to see it. All right, here we go. I'm going to try and do a drone's view here because there's really no other way to do this. Okay, so there's an overall shot of what's going on inside the garage. I think we'll start over here and then we'll move on. Okay, so down here we have a uh, 78 Impala being worked on. The figures that you'll see in here, by the way, are from... Uh, Woodland Scenics, they're the auto mechanic set. There's six figures that come in that set. Uh, over here, I have some tools on the shelf. Again, these are so small that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to pick these up on camera. But there's some tools that I highlighted and painted. Um, there's some bumpers, spare bumpers that I put on the wall. So this guy, again, is taking a look at the engine. He's got a little uh, tool cart there. Over here, we have, these are no-name HO scale cars. I, I got a lot of them for next to nothing at my local train shop. The two lifts that I have, the two car lifts, uh, those are by Prizer. They come in this set right here. This is the Prizer tool and equipment for motor vehicles repair. You can see all the different stuff that comes in this set. And while we're at it, the engine hoist over here and the tires all the few other stuff come in this set this is the scene master garage detail set highly 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 suggest both of these sets for any garage or display you want to do all right so back over here these guys are doing a tire rotation and um standard oil change on the lift by the way these no-name cars actually really aren't that no-name ish they resemble real life vehicles to me, that looks a lot like an Alexis IS300 or something. Over here, we've got a Prius being worked on. Standard thing. Another tool cart with a tool on it. Back here, it might be a little bit hard to see, but this guy's getting some tire balances done. Got some tires over there. Got a couple jacks and a garbage can by the door. There's a rear bay entry. Already mentioned the engine hoist. And a compressor. Over here, we've got some customer cars that are just done, stashed over here. Uh, you can see the oil drain, water drain, things at the back, or at the bottom, I should say. Moving up towards the front, we got another jack. This car is actually jacked up. He's just changing a single tire on it, which, of course, obviously, if you know anything about cars, you never really want to change a single tire on a car. Um, get, the, get the same sides changed. So if you have a problem with your left front, get the left sides changed. Both of them, just my advice to you. Got another cart over here. And this is something I threw together, which I think looks really nice if it will focus on this camera. Thank you. A um, bunch of little tools that I threw together on a workbench. If you've ever worked or been in a mechanic shop, you'll find a lot of these with just tools thrown everywhere. Um, even though mechanics will swear up and down that they have some organization and they put their tools away. But that's often what it looks like in a busy garage. A another garbage can. Um, this side, there's not really much going on at all other than what I showed you. So there you go, guys. That is my, uh, auto repair facility. Again, I have a lot more that uh, I have planned for this in the near future. Just some detail stuff I want to do. I want to get a couple more car lifts and, uh, just a couple other more garage detail sets that I know are out there. I know Prizer makes another one, but it's really expensive. And currently I can only get one from Germany and I'm not really willing to pay a $60, um, 
shipping costs to get one imported. So I'll just wait to find one of those pop up on eBay. Another really simple thing that I want to do is like all the area up here. Again, you can't really see it because I put it down, but you obviously were probably thinking it when I was showing it. There's a lot of space up on the walls to put banners and stuff like snap on banners. Uh, maybe some AC Delco, just stuff that would take up wall space and, again, look very realistic. Maybe add some lighting, uh, just a couple other ideas that immediately come to mind. So there you go, collectors. Let me know what you would think would look really good in this. I'm always open to suggestions. I do all take them to heart. You guys have had some great ideas in the past. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think I can do to make this look even better. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next review.